Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Human Sexuality at College of Marin. I'm Susan Rahman. I'm your teacher for the semester, and I'm just going to walk you through the beginnings of the modules so that you have a little bit of an idea of where you're going. For those of you that have taken online classes, especially if you've done Canvas, this might just be a review, so bear with me. But for those of you that are new to this, it's important for you to kind of know where to find things. Um, even if you have taken Canvas, instructors do things differently, so um, maybe this will help you too. So human sexuality, we're going to look at kind of this overall topic through a behavioral science lens. We'll do a little bit of anatomy and physiology um, in terms of body parts and reproduction, but for the most part, we'll be looking at it through a social emotional kind of lens. We do offer this class through the biology department as well, so if you would rather look at it through that lens, then that would be a better class for you. Um, human sexuality is one of those things that um, I think we probably all have some preconceived notions about, and we all perhaps carry a little bit of stigma around in terms of what the culture says is okay and what isn't. Um, there is a narrow box sometimes about what is okay to be interested in, what is okay to talk about, and so hopefully in this class we can debunk some of those stigmas and have open conversations about human sexuality. Some of the material might feel uncomfortable, some of it might feel um, hard, but I just really invite you to come into this class with an open mind so that we can get some good work done and we can think about these things. Um, if you think about it, having a positive viewpoint about our own sexuality and who we are as human beings can only do, um, do better for us in society. And that came out really sloppy. But what I mean is the more positive you are about your own self, your own body, your own sexuality, you're going to walk through the world um, a little bit happier. So let, let's, let's go there with that and see how that works for everybody in the class and um, agree to disagree. So in terms of that, you know, this class is an online class, completely online, but we do a lot of discussions. So let me walk you through this first module and then, um, and then part of that will be the discussions. Um, so I just want to highlight this. If you haven't posted by this Wednesday in the meet and greet discussion forum um, by 1159, I'm going to drop you. And that's because, for some reason, everybody wants online classes. And so, although I teach three other face-to-face -face classes, those don't fill up as much as these online classes because online is convenient and it works for people wherever they are. And people just seem to like online classes. I understand. I got my PhD partially online. And so, it was very convenient as a mom of a child at that time who was a lot younger I needed the convenience, and so I understand. Um, so so the, the discussion forums are something that we're going to be doing every week. Okay, so let me click on the first one. And what the first one is, is it's a very simple one. You don't have to have any reading done. You just have to say hello to everyone, and that's pretty typical. Oh, it's locked until tomorrow at midnight, so I'm going to unlock it. This kind of, See, this is good. You guys, you guys are helping me kind of see where I'm at in terms of of um, what might need to be remedied. So let's let's go fix that. So the discussion guideline is going to be very straightforward. What you're going to do is you're going to go in and answer some questions. You're going to introduce yourself, why you're taking this class, what do you think you should learn in a human sexuality class, and that doesn't necessarily mean you will, but what would you think we would learn? And then um, are there difficult subjects for you? And, um, or that you feel are difficult. And I imagine that everybody feels like something's gonna be difficult. So don't, you know, don't try to, you know, pretend like that's not true. Be honest with yourself and your responses because I think um, we spend a lot of time being um, kind of, I don't know how to, how to say it, politically correct about it. And I don't think that that's, that does us any good. So let's just try to be as honest as possible. And, and so in order to um, kind of move that forward, I want to show you the discussion guidelines so that you have, um, you have that underneath your belt. Um, so 
Dis so like I said, discussions are every week. Okay. So, and honestly, that's really like such a big bulk of this grade that for those of you that decide to opt out of discussions, it's going to, your grade's going to suffer. So I would just do my due diligence to get on that and post every week. And so what you're doing is you're answering the question. So these are the guidelines in terms of, you know, numeric and what I'm looking for. Um, but um, this part is the part I want to um, kind of kind of highlight in this class in particular. Um, there will undoubtedly be differences of opinions on many topics. This diversity makes for a more lively class discussion, and I welcome your thoughts. Differences of opinions of topics need to be expressed respectfully and intelligently. I will not tolerate rude responses or bullying of any kind. Do not post off-the-cuff responses. Think through what point you want to make. Keep it relevant to the topic at hand. Your posts are credited based on following directions and showing comprehension of course material. So I want to make clear that that's, that really matters. Um, I'm asking a question, okay, in these posts. There's always a question being posed or multiple questions. You need to respond accordingly. Then the second piece of that is that you're responding to two of your classmates, right? So it's an original post and two responses every week. If your responses are rude, are bullying, are off the cuff, I'm going to ask you to not do that and you won't be post credited points for them. So treat your, treat your colleagues, your classmates as you'd like to be treated and um, be thoughtful in your responses. Okay. And, you know, for the most part, that's usually how it goes in this class. But, you know, every once in a while, somebody has to be smart ass and do something rude. And so I have to I have to say this. OK, so moving right along. <clears throat> um, your book, your book is free. This is a zero cost class. Hallelujah. I'm so happy about that. So it's Our Sexual Selves. It's a reader that I put together along with um, a former student. Actually, she helped me put this book together. Um, and it is downloadable, or you can just read it right here on the on the thing. And so each week, when you go into the modules, it tells you, oh, read chapter one, read chapter two, read chapter three. So you have all that there. It's there for your, um, your reading pleasure. We also have a hard copy available at the library. Um, you can print anything you like, uh, but you don't have to. Um, then, what else? Syllabus. The syllabus is also here. Um, sometimes people want to see the syllabus so that you know exactly what's due when. Everything on the module kind of lays that out to you, but some people just want to hold it in their hot little hand so you can download it or you can read it um, on this module um, and you can print it as well. So this just kind of gives you the run through. I would ask you to read that as well. Um, else? I think that's all I want to talk about for right now because I just want to get you through the week. I'll send you videos every Sunday. I'll, I'll send you a message. Um, oh, let me plug this last thing that I think I sent a message over the summer about. I teach a class called Service Learning and it's a really great class and um, it's a small class. It's a face-to-face -face class, but um, it's a great class because what, what we do in this class is we meet on Tuesdays and then most of the work is done at a service learning placement in Marin or a local county that is um, a service behavioral science field work sort of place. So one that people work in that would have a psychology degree, a sociology degree, a behavioral science degree. And basically, you get to spend 60 hours throughout the semester working with these people and you get three units for it. And basically what ends up happening is that you get the lived experience of what it's like to work in that agency. So I work with the SPAR Center, the LGBT Center in San Rafael. I work with the Brain Injury Network in Larkspur. I work with the um, Center for Domestic Peace in San Rafael and Richmond. It's the Rape Crisis Center. I work with the um, or that's Community Violence Solutions. Anyways, there's a handful of organizations that directly relate to what we're doing in this class. 
So if any of that sounds interesting to you, this is the information. You can add the course. Um, if you do not meet a prereq, meaning you haven't taken any of these classes before, I can waive the prereq because being in human sexuality is also fine. Um, if you're interested in that, just shoot me an email or you can straight up add the class if you meet the prereq. Um, and if not, you need me to waive it for you, just let me know. All right, so let me go back to our module. So that's that. So I think I'll stop for now, but um, you know, familiarize yourself with all of this stuff. There's other, other little tidbits on here that would be interesting for you to learn as well. Um, if you haven't ever done a Canvas kind of self-paced understanding the site, that might be fun for you to do so that you know your way around. And um, I look forward to getting to know you and talking to you. So take good care and welcome to the class.